Hi, this video is all about configuration of Sonar Cloud and how can we integrate this Sonar Cloud with Microsoft Azure. There are ways. First of all, we have to open this site, sonarcloud.io. Because now it is available on the cloud, so the name has been changed from Sonar Cube to Sonar Cloud. You also can configure Sonar, Sonar uh, Cube on your own server. But we are considering concentrating on Sonar Cloud. Once you open this site, there are various ways to log in into this site, or you may go to login here. And because my account is active in Azure DevOps, so let me log in through DevOps credential. It would ask me my credentials of Azure. And because I have logged in just be, uh, before this session, so it has directly allowed me to enter into. I have configured one project here with, it is completely integrated with the Microsoft Azure DevOps. The first thing first, in the Sonar Cloud, what we have to do is, before creating any project, we have to create one uh, organization. But how to set it up? That is the big question. Working on a Sonar Cloud is quite easy, but configuration is a little tricky. So we have to concentrate on the tricky part first. I have configured it and made a doc document not for, for the viewers. So that is the document. Because I have already configured it, so probably I need not to go again for the same steps. But the very first step is, when you go for the documentation of Sonar Cloud, you would find install the Sonar Cloud Azure DevOps extension. I am primarily focusing on the Azure DevOps only. So for other environments, I'm not uh, concentrating and not uh, giving tips uh, in this video. So there is an example, uh, install is link, Sonar Cloud extension for DevOps. Once you click on this, you will get to the video Visual Studio Marketplace and you have to download this Sonar Cloud extension and that is absolutely free. Let's suppose you have just downloaded it, so you'll get the another screen like this. So this screen, uh, let me uh, zoom it out. So once this screen is there, you will log in and you have to choose your organization. Okay, fine, you chose your organization and install it. It is processing after completion of this act, you will get your organizations listed out here. And what are those, those organizations? Those organizations are basically your Azure DevOps organization. If you go there and you see my De uh, Azure DevOps portal, Azure Talk Org, Abhimetre, uh, Azure Talk Show, and likewise. So in this document, you will see, you'll find these, uh, these organizations as well. So that I have actually created and uh, deleted. So it won't be visible there as of now. Right, once it is done, it will take you to the another screen and probably the marketplace where you can also uh, install this Sonar Cube extension, but it is not always mandatory, right? But these steps has to be done first. This Sonar Cloud, uh, Cube extension is available. Just install it. And the most important part is the configuration and usage. That is again available in the documentation and integration part of Azure DevOps. So once you click this Microsoft lab on how to integrate DevOps with Sonar Cloud, you'll get to know what exactly the steps you need to take. Now the, the term is, that is a part of you know configuration. Once the configuration is successfully done, so you will be allowed to see this screen and there would be my profile image. Once you go here and you'll get your profile appearing here. So. I can go to my account. So that is my account. I have used this credential and uh, that is the login uh, name given to me by Sonar Cube. And uh, that's it. That is my SCM account and uh, the other connectivity things. Fine. I can go to the organizations part. Though I have already created one organization that is Azure Talk, I can go and, uh, and go to my organization there as well. You will find the same thing. Right. 
so that is all about the existing organization which i have created before this session this video how to go ahead and create a new organization by yourself so for that matter you have to go to the this plus symbol at the top click here you'll find analyze new project and create new organization so just click on this once you click on the organization name you have to pass particular key it's a it's a uh, kind of key which uh, would be needed at the time of you are uh, configuring your this organization into azure devops so mind it you have to give some unique name kind of for example uh, test uh, uh, sonar key right yeah it is available so the validation is up to 255 characters all characters must be lower cases and blah blah continue this now there are two options you will be find free plan and the paid plan paid plan we are not going to uh, do it this because this we are going to just utilize and test it at the sonar queue i am going to create with the free plan create one another two options analyze new project or add members i'm not going to add any member as of now because this is just a demo and uh, clicking on analyze new project so my my organization name would appear here like this and i have to give give the project key project key could be any uh, could be any like uh, what we have given uh, maybe key for test sonar key test sonar key uh, little bit confusing uh, i have given the test sonar key name as of organization ideally i should not take uh, that so test sonar key as a name or maybe i can go and uh, no that's okay fine let it be as is so and the display name would be like this let it be i'm not uh, much bothered about uh, see some scenarios might override that value you provide okay no no problem and my my organization would be a public organization so let me set up once it is set up you will get the dashboard which is completely blank as of now you can go to the administration and set that check the general settings if any settings is, is uh, really required for your purpose you can just set it out but i don't don't think so we currently need it and mind it we have the master branch here click on this you will get the branches pulled from uh, your azure devops uh, branching so your key is key for test sonar key and your project name is uh, your uh, test sonar key okay so we have to consider it now we can move to azure devops and uh, i have another video available for uh, uh, this exercise uh, i have created for you uh, let me show you that uh, video as well this is the video i was talking about where i have explained how to configure Azure DevOps build pipeline with Sonar Cube analysis. This video was created today itself, so I'll send you that this. I'll leave this mess link into the description, so that you can just go there and know how to configure it with or how to integrate it uh, Sonar Cube with Azure DevOps. So uh, I can show you a bit about it. Uh, that is the project where I have integrated this one, and you will see. Uh, I'll go to my pipeline. Uh, it is there in the build pipeline you see here in the last one let me go and edit okay it is loading and in the c prepare analysis on sonar cloud run code analysis publish quality gate and something like that and my settings are here what the project organization name was name was given here what a key is required here what i was saying you would be needed at the time of declaring uh your azure devops pipeline right so that is it for this video because this video is all about the configuration of sonar cloud not to the integration part because this is already covered in this video so i'll come back to you with um, more options shortly yeah all right then thank you very much for now for seeing this video and if you have any questions you wanted to see such sort of new videos for any specific topic you can just comment it and you can also join our youtube or facebook uh, channel facebook group in fact 
you can also join my YouTube uh, channel. Okay, so let me show you about me. This is all about me. Name is Abhishek Matre. Twitter handle is Abhi Matre. My email ID is sanofaspm at outlook.com. And this is our Azure Talk Facebook page, Facebook group. You can go and join. Thank you very much.